Hi guys, welcome back to Tarot Makes Up. Today I have a very exciting video for you. I've got another kind of autumn winter trend inspired look that I'm gonna do in collaboration with Elizabeth Arden. So I've got some amazing products and quite a few kind of new exciting things to show you as well. And I'm gonna show you how to get a gorgeous autumn look. So I'm just gonna pin a bit of hair back because I've got a lot of hair today. And the first thing I've done is I've just prepped my lips with a bit of eight hour cream. You guys know how much I love this. This is like my ultimate, at least one of my ultimate kit staples. So this comes with me everywhere. Um, and I like it when I kind of start doing my skincare, my base, just to apply some so that the lips are nice and nourished before I even start doing makeup. The first product I'm gonna start with on my skin is one of the newest foundation launches. And this is actually from the Privage collection. Um, the Privage collection, if you guys don't know, it's been around for like 10 years, and really this is kind of a hybrid of skincare and makeup together. So you're getting more benefits from your makeup, and this actually has SPF 30 as well. So it's really great if you're in the city, or in hot countries, or you're just looking to get a really good SPF from your foundation. Um, so this is called the Privage Anti-Aging Foundation. So just to give you a little demo of the kind of texture of the foundation. So like I said, it just evens skin tone whilst helping to protect and visibly repair and moisturize ultimate skin perfection with anti-aging benefits and this leaves skin naturally luminous. Um, I'm using the shade number four and I'm going to pump some onto the back of my hand and don't worry I think what you find with anti-aging foundations that I particularly love is that they tend to lean more towards the dewy side so you get that really kind of youthful looking skin you get really kind of glowy skin but this is still oil free as well so even if you have oily skin you'll still really like this foundation. Um, and this is actually one of their new brushes that kind of they recommend with the foundation and I really like it because it's got that kind of nice synthetic sloping edge. Um, and this foundation, like I said, it's very sheer but kind of buildable in coverage yet still long lasting. So if you like your foundation to feel very weightless on the skin um, but still have that kind of nice dewy glow, nice your skin but better look, then I think you'll really like this foundation. And like I said with this, you know, the important thing to remember is you've got your kind of skincare benefits within your foundation too. So you're kind of multitasking. And it's really good if you're in a rush as well. I think you can kind of maybe skip certain skincare steps and just go straight onto your foundation. And even though it says anti-aging, I think no matter what age you are, anti-aging foundations generally are a lot more kind of flattering because they have that kind of youthful finish. So you get a little bit more of a glow, a little bit more of a kind of your skin but better look. So I'm gonna do concealer last because I wanna do my eyes first. So for brows, I'm gonna use um, Brunette. This is the Beautiful Color Natural Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette. And it's got kind of a really nice fine nib and the spoolie. So I really like the fact that it's nice and easy to use. My brows definitely need a bit of grooming at the moment. And I'm just gonna add in a little bit more shape. I'm just using a very light hand and just keep kind of grooming through as you go along. That's a good way just to kind of use the same direction as the hair and just add in a little bit of shape as you go. And I'm just pulling it out to elongate the eye slightly. So I'm gonna use this gorgeous eyeshadow called Truffle on the eyes, which is gonna give more of a matte look to the eye and a little bit of shape and definition. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pop that all over the eyelid. And I'm just gonna take that kind of up to the socket and then blend. And this is very, very silky. It's got a nice kind of, again, long lasting, easy to blend. So I'm even just using the same brush to kind of blend it out as I go. And then I'm also gonna take that under the lower lash line as well. More on kind of the outer third, but just to give it a bit of extra shadow. And don't worry if you go down too far because we're gonna conceal last anyway. So it gives us a nice chance to kind of tidy up as you go. Now you guys know me, I love a brown eyeliner, whether that's a brown coal or a brown gel, brown gel liner. And this one from Elizabeth Arden, the beautiful color, Bold Defining 24 Hour is a gorgeous like shimmery bronze. So in taking that liner, I'm just gonna take that across the top of the eyeline and I'm gonna take it all the way along but I just want it a very, very thin line and not gonna flick it up this time. So I'm just gonna do it so that you get a little bit of extra definition at the roots. And then it's just gonna stop at the end of my lash line so that it stays very natural. And it's just gonna give a slight bit more definition. And then I'm gonna use one of the cold pencils. Now these are loved by makeup artists, not only myself, but I also know that uh, the likes of Mary Greenwell are huge fans of this eye pencil. And this is the Smoky Eyes pencil and I love the color espresso. Again, you guys know I love a dark brown and this is matte. So I'm now just gonna take this into the waterline just so when I curl my lashes, there's not kind of a gap. And again, I'm just making sure my lashes look really full. 
So I've just given my lashes a quick curl and then I'm going to move on to the Grand Entrance Mascara, which is in black. They do a really nice brown shade as well. I nearly went for brown, so I think if you wanted a softer look, again, you could use brown, but I'm a sucker for black mascara. So I am just going to intensify my lashes. And this gives quite literally a Grand Entrance. I definitely find this gives me extra lashes and extra length so I'm making sure as well right in the roots I kind of get stuck in and it's almost got like a plasticky comb so it's really good for separating as well as creating volume and then with what's left on the brush I'm going to do a little bit of definition on the lower lashes too and if you wanted it super fine you could even take a little bit of excess off in a tissue but I find because it's a plastic comb it just separates the lashes nicely without kind of going too cloggy so then I'm going to move on to concealer and for this I'm going to use the Flawless Finish Maximum Coverage Concealer and I'm going to use the shade Light which is number two um, and this I'm actually just going to do it with my fingers. I find this a really nice emollient concealer um, but again as the name would suggest it's great for kind of putting not just under the eyes but around any redness so I'm going to just blend that around my nose as well and this is where I can even use the double end of the foundation brush just to kind of soften that in. And again, if you find that kind of doing anything under your eye gets messy or it looks too smudgy, this is where you can just cheat with your concealer. So just use it to lift up slightly and just give more light to the face. And for me, I love having a sheerer foundation that's more about kind of luminous, dewy skin and then just doing the work with my concealer where it's needed. So anywhere that I do need more coverage, just using my concealer. And I'm an absolute huge fan of the Ceramide Cream Blushes. These have been in my kit again for kind of the past two months and I've been loving them. And I'm torn between two colours. I've got Plum here, which I think if you had a darker skin tone would be beautiful with this look. But I think today I'm gonna to stick with the one that I keep going back to, which is Nectar. So that's this kind of colour. It's a little bit lighter, but it's still got that nice kind of peachy, apricot tone to it. And I'm gonna use the brush that I use for the concealer. And I'm just gonna start applying that from the middle of my cheek and just working outwards. But Again, it's just that nice hint of colour without being too much. And then I switch the brush around to the other end. And this is where you can just kind of blend and buff so it becomes a part of the skin. A little bit here. It's got that lovely apricot hue. And another tip with cream blush as well is to make sure that in between kind of adding layers, you let the skin sit for like 10 to 20 seconds before adding more. Because sometimes just the tapping motion of the brush actually brings more blood to the surface of the skin. So sometimes you find even just doing that, it just helps you see how much blush you need to add. Or if you need to again, turn the brush around and just blend the edges. It really does fit the skin nicely, this brush. So now we're ready for what I think is kind of the key part of this look, and that is a really luscious bold lip. Now, the great thing with the product I'm gonna show you next is you can wear it two ways. You can either kind of matte it down to a stain or you can go full bold glossy color. So I'm gonna use one of the beautiful color. This is the Bold Liquid Lipstick, which is from the Liquid Assets range. And with these, they're very much rich, hydrating pigment. They have, you know, gorgeous coverage, the coverage of a lipstick but the feel of like a lip gloss lip balm um, and the great thing is as well the applicator, I love the way these apply, they almost perfectly fit into the cupid's bow, they smooth around the lips lovely and they don't feather and they don't bleed. And just to show you the difference as well of one of the more neutral colours, this one is Passionate Peach which is very beautiful and I'm going to pop this all over the lip. And I just literally use the applicator to kind of smush it into place. But I love the peachiness of this colour. So this is kind of your more slightly natural, more pared down, kind of like autumn winter look. And then I'm going to show you now as well with the super bold, using the kind of more magenta, more of like a purpley rich colour, which is gorgeous for fall. So I'm going to start first of all by applying this into the middle of the lip. Oh God, I love this colour. And it smells like ice cream, which is always good. And if it almost feels like an iron, you can like iron out the grooves in the lips. And it is just a full pigment. And then a really good tip to make sure your lip line is perfect is just to close your lips and smile. And then it's easier to kind of smooth over any areas. The thing as well that's great about these lipsticks is because they're super long wearing and comfortable to wear, they also kind of go down to a nice stain as well. So the longer you wear them, they spread evenly, they kind of finish evenly on the lip. There's no feathering, no bleeding. 
and they kind of even out perfectly so you're not left with like a ring of lipstick around your lips um, and I just love this colour I think this is really fun as well and it's not kind of the colour I'd, I was so tempted to go for the red but I just felt like pinky purple I feel is a little bit cooler I like it with the colours that are in my shirts and um, I like it with my hair kind of a little bit more undone. Then the last product I'm going to add is a little bit more sheen just to really play up the dewy skin and I'm going to use this this is the beautiful colour bold illuminating liquid highlighter and what I love about this is it's more of that kind of opaly gold tone highlighter I find on my skin it's much more complimentary when things are a little bit golder so I'm just going to pat that onto the cheek and again just going back to that foundation brush just going to pat that just in to give that really nice iridescence and just tops the cheekbones and I'm going to put the tiniest amount of that as well on the inside corner of my eye just to brighten. So just using a little kind of domed brush just on that inner corner just to give a pop of highlight. And so that's the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It feels really fun stepping out of my comfort zone as well and going for like a really bright, bold, intense lip. I always know it's one of those things as well when I wear a bright lip, I feel really happy and it makes me feel really kind of joyful. Um, and it's just nice, it's nice and bright. It's nice to kind of mix it up as well for autumn, winter. So if anyone thinking about a bold lip, I definitely recommend this look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'd love it if you subscribe and I'll see you soon for more videos. Thanks very much guys, bye.